The cell capsule is a very large structure of some prokaryotic cells, such as bacterial cells. It is a polysaccharide layer that lies outside the cell envelope of bacteria, and is thus deemed part of the outer envelope of a bacterial cell. It is a well-organized layer, not easily washed off, and it can be the cause of various diseases. The capsulia uro, which can be found in both gram-negative bacteria and gram-positive bacteria uro should not be confused with the second lipid membrane, which contains lipopolysaccharides and lipoproteins and is found only in gram-negative bacteria. When the amorphous viscid secretion diffuses into the surrounding medium and remains as a loose undemarcated secretion, it is known as slime layer. Composition, it usually consists of polysaccharides, but can be composed of other materials in B. anthracis. Because most capsules are so tightly packed, they are difficult to stain using standard stains because most stains cannot adhere to the capsule. For examination under the microscope, the bacteria and their background are stained darker than the capsule, which doesn't stain. When viewed, bacterial cells as well as the surface they are on, are stained dark, while the capsule remains pale or colorless and appears as a ring, or halo, around the cell. Function The capsule is considered a virulence factor because it enhances the ability of bacteria to cause disease. The capsule can protect cells from engulfment by eukaryotic cells, such as macrophages. A capsule-specific antibody may be required for phagocytosis to occur. Capsules also contain water which protects the bacteria against desiccation. They also exclude bacterial viruses and most hydrophobic toxic materials such as detergents. There are 14 different capsule types, which each impart their own specific antigenicity. Immunity to one capsule type does not result in immunity to the other types. Capsules also help cells adhere to surfaces. Diversity The capsule is found most commonly among gram-negative bacteria, Escherichia coli, Neisseria meningitidis, Tobshila pneumoniae lao, Haemophilus influenzae, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Salmonella. However, some gram-positive bacteria may also have a capsule, Bacillus megatherium, for example synthesizes a capsule composed of polypeptide and polysaccharides. Streptococcus pyogens synthesizes a hyaluronic acid capsule. Streptococcus pneumoniae lao, Streptococcus agalictii produces a polysaccharide capsule of nine antigenic types that all contain sciolic acid. Staphylococcus epidomidis, the yeast Cryptococcus neoformans, though not a bacterium, has a similar capsule. Capsules too small to be seen with an ordinary microscope, such as the M protein of Streptococcus pyogens, are called microcapsules. Mnemonic A common mnemonic used to remember some encapsulated pathogens is, even some superkillers have pretty nice big capsules, Escherichia coli, Streptococcus pneumoniae lao, Salmonella, Tobshila pneumoniae lao, Haemophilus influenzae, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Neisseria meningitidis. Bacteroids fragilis, and the yeast Cryptococcus neoformans. Demonstration of capsule, India ink staining, the capsule appears as a clear halo around the bacterium as the ink can't penetrate the capsule. Serological methods, capsular material is antigenic and can be demonstrated by mixing it with a specific anti-capsular serum. When examined under the microscope, the capsule appears swollen due to an increase in its refractivity. This phenomenon is the basis of Quillung reaction. Use in vaccination, vaccination using capsular material is effective against some organisms. See also, bacterial cell structure, Quillung reaction, a method to visualize capsule under a microscope. References